everyone, my name is Josh Gordon. I'm here with the Developer Show at the TensorFlow Developer Summit and Daniel Smilkov, who is one of the authors of TensorFlow.js, and it's one of my favorite launches of the year. So Daniel, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. I'm really glad you liked the talk. So TensorFlow.js is a JavaScript library for machine learning that can run entirely in the browser, and you can both uh, use your model for inference or do in training in the browser. So you can take an existing model in Python. There is a lot of models out there that people have written, and you can use one of our uh, tools to automatically convert that model and import it in the browser. And then you can build uh, creative applications and visual apps around that. The way TensorFlow.js started was from a different library called DeepLearn.js that we initially released. And DeepLearn.js had a lower level API that only had linear algebra ops. With the launch today, DeepLearn.js joining TensorFlow family, we're adding a new layer uh, of high level ops that is aligned with TF layers and Keras. So people can just uh, use high level building blocks and best practices to build RNNs or computer uh, or convolutional neural networks. So for instance, if I'm a developer and I've implemented a model already on my desktop in Keras or TensorFlow, or a combination of the both, then I can export it. Yes, you can do any, any TensorFlow save model or Keras model. You can point, uh, use our pip package. We just released a TensorFlow.js pip package in Python. Run that script pointing to the artifact where your model is saved and it will produce a different set of files that you can then use in the browser. And one thing I really like about TensorFlow.js is you have an outstanding examples directory that demonstrates how to accomplish things like this. That's one very cool part about the web is that people can easily fork these examples, launch them in the browser, modify them, upload them in their own uh, servers and share it with everyone. Okay, awesome. So now let's talk about some of your great live demos. There's the Teachable Machine, uh, the Emoji Scavenger Hunt, and Pac-Man. All very cool demos. Um, Teachable Machine is one of our earliest demos. It was a collaboration with um, Google Creative Lab folks. It runs a neural network in the browser, and then you can train it with your webcam and associate it with one of the four actions. And people love it. So I actually like that so much. I taught a course last semester and had all my students build a Teachable Machine as their final project. They loved it too. I'm very glad to hear that. Yeah. Okay, so the Emoji Scavenger Hunt and Pac-Man. Yes, so the Emoji Scavenger Hunt is another game that our friends at Google Brand Studio built. This one actually uses our latest tools. So it uses uh, the TensorFlow for Poets tutorial, uh, takes a pre-trained mobile net, then they are retraining it to identify 400 different objects um, that you can have in your home. Then they're using our automatic converter tool to port it in the browser, and they turn it into a game. The goal of the game is you can run it on the phone, uses the webcam, and you point it to an object. Uh, it gives you an emoji, and you have to find the real object in real life, point it, and make the model predict correctly before the time runs out. And I just want to point out that everything runs in the browser. Not, no data is being sent to any server. So this, this is valuable for privacy-preserving applications as well. Yes. But let me make a quick comment. So when I think of a web browser, I think of opening Chrome on my laptop. But I just realized from what you're saying, of course, I can develop a TensorFlow.js app and also open it from a mobile browser. So you have a last awesome demo, which is Pac-Man. So tell me about Pac-Man. So Pac-Man um, is a demo that kind of joins the 80s uh, uh, game and the technology, the machine learning technologies from 2018 together. Yeah. And it uh, shows you how you can take a pre-trained model and retrain it with your own private data in the browser. So what we do is I use my face to turn it uh, into a controller and teach a neural network to recognize my different poses as left, right, up, or down, and then I play Pac-Man. So you can control Pac-Man by moving your face. Yeah, so really even cool. though it looks like a, um, you know, just a game, it actually has huge implications for accessibility. Think of someone building a Chrome extension that can then recognize these actions and allow people to uh, browse the web. That's a great point. So for paralyzed patients and stuff like that. Yeah. OK, so this is awesome. To wrap it up, where is the best place for developers to go to get started? Go to jstensorflow.org. We have a beautiful website with a lot of examples. Each example you can easily fork, modify, share. And also, we have tutorials. Feel free to dive in. 
possible. So Daniel, thanks so much uh, for the developer show at the TensorFlow Dev Summit. I'm Josh Gordon. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.